GPAT 2026 notification has been released and applications they are accepting from 23rd December and the last day to apply for this exam is 12th January and exam is on 7th March and the result will be declared on 7th April. So we'll see how to fill the application form. So here is the detailed instructions for filling up of GPAT 2026 application form. First you need to keep some documents ready. If you are having all these documents, it is fine or else other card is 100% mandatory. You keep it ready, all these documents. And you check whether you are eligible for OBC or not or uh, another category like EWS. So you check with your local MRO office and get that certificates. But certificates are not mandatory to fill the application form. But some certificates are mandatory like uh, they are asking the certificates of your till third year or final year if you are completed final year form. Go to NBMS website, then you will find GPAT. 2026 application form when you scroll down you will find it like application link click that link then on the top right corner you will see this register and login so click on the register link then uh, the page will be loading so after the page has been completely loaded then you will be seeing two options i am an applicant click and submit then you will be seeing instructions then close these instructions and you'll be seeing some uh, privacy notice I agree all the terms and conditions then coming down you will be finding your personal details this is like a registration so it is a one time registration then you need to enter your mobile number email id so that you'll be getting the otps there fill all the details your date of birth your gender and your nationality and mobile number email id carefully please check all the details what you're filling the date of birth exactly as per your 10th certificate and names everything should match exactly as this is a one time registration it should be very careful in filling out of all these details give the right email id right mobile number so that you will be getting the otps there so after filling all these details make sure that you submit generate the otp re-verify that you will be getting to your mobile number and uh, mail id click on generate otp and this this will ask this capture enter this capture words then go to your email id and uh, go to your mobile enter otp and uh, from both mobile as well as email id so after entering both otps validate it so your mobile number will be verified and email id will be verified and uh, you'll be getting user id login details to your email id both your username and your password you will be getting to your email id and please keep that reference for your future purpose so click on re-verify once again so that you can check all your details name date of birth your gender nationality mobile number email id click on all the check boxes then you click on re-verify check all the details and it will give warning sign details cannot be modified after that click on submit you will get this registration number so user id and uh, password will be sent to your email id if you want to take you can take this screenshot and on the top you can go to go to application form again fresh page will open up for your application and uh, read all the instructions and close this tab so once you close this tab you will find the entire application there as i said you need to have all these documents ready click all the things whatever applicable for you if you don't have this pan card or voter id it is fine whatever documents you have mention all the numbers there properly fill all the details take time there is no hurry just check all your details enter your other card number enter your category enter all the documents whatever you have every serial number you enter properly if you don't have your pan card or voter card don't worry about that but other card is mandatory enter those details click on submit if you don't fill any details again they this will give caution to fill all the required mandatory details and click on submit then it will move to the communication details here mention all the address where you are staying right now this can be useful for your communication purpose so it's the same address is there for permanent address just to click on the s that automatically the address will be captured save and next so data saved successfully and come to this qualification details starting with your 10th till your b form you need to fill up every detail there as i said you need to make all the documents ready 
just see there and calculate your percentage how much you got the percentage or cgpa check your certificates well so whatever what is the board mentioned there or what is the university you have studied carefully take time and check twice before filling up the form and fill all these details about your 10th intermediate and college so b form can be like uh, maybe they can give your college name or your university name you can search, search it out whether the name is available or not and enter the place and you can mention like pursuing third year or qualified b form or even final year we click appropriate answer then when is your passed out or maybe passing out in future so mention those dates if you are registered in the pca website as a student if they have given any number you can enter that number or else it is you can leave it fine it is not mandatory and please check whether you are uh, entering the marks in the percentage wise or cgpa right and enter all the percentages of your final first year second year third year and final year if you are already qualified calculate your percentages and enter here and when you are uploading make sure that you are uploading both pdfs first semester second semester mark list merge it into single pdf and you can upload here so once your qualification details were captured and save those details and uh, keep the nearest test center what you are looking for maybe hyderabad or warangal maybe in tamil nadu karnataka we have almost 114 centers save that details and after that uh, it will ask you the documents upload you will be uploading all the first year second year third year th final year b form so semester wise mark lists are there so you combine first semester and second semester as a single pdf and upload as a first year or second year and after that they have given some specifications related to your photograph signature left hand thumb impression and all the documents should be in a given size file size everything should be in pdf and upload whatever file size they have mentioned there read all the instructions carefully upload all the documents properly cross check the application you can find out the preview of the application also before submitting it once you upload all the documents then uh, click on agree then they it will be asking the payment details you can pay through this online mode so once the payment is done then the application will be submitted and you will uh, you can save that application form so they are not asking your uh, obc or scsc certificate so you can get that by the time of counseling and if you have supplies also it's fine you can get that uh, qualified by time of counseling so don't miss to apply for this gpad exam so take your time apply for this exam and you still have another uh, 70 days time put your efforts and we are happy to help you out any any point of time we are having the shine batch also you can join for the shine batch we will give you a structured plan for the next uh, 70 days so apply for the exam do well in your preparation all the best